Introducing the most technologically advanced, topographically accurate, pseudoscience Earth model the world has ever seen. A model capable of making advanced pseudoscience predictions about our world with stunning 3D animations and an easy to use globe comparison mechanism. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you the Flat Earth Model. Oh dear God. All right, guys. Into the breach once more, my friends. Let's cue up the music and roll on this. So in case you hadn't already gathered, we're going to be introducing the most glorious, fantastic, spectacular model of the flat earth anybody has ever encountered. We're going to show you in depth how to use this amazing tool to make advanced pseudoscience predictions about the flat earth. It's going to be glorious. Fasten your seatbelts. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and start off with their argument. The first argument that they do is they bring quantum eraser out the man who brought us the independent variable, who's going to give us definition. Now, these definitions are not designed to clarify. They are cherry-picked specifically to restrict what we can use as an argument. For example, he's talking about level, and here are the definitions of level that he gives. However, if you look just below it, looking up the scientific definition of level, you see this one, having no parts higher than another, conforming to the curvature of the liquid parts of the Earth's surface. Interesting. Yeah, so before we get to the main event, I'd like to briefly touch on two stupefying phenomena that the Baltard spinning space monkey cult apparently and inexplicably has all of a sudden gotten a case of the willful stupids with. And we've talked about this before. And I'm kind of shocked that they forget about this. Well, Quantum Eraser, it's not that we forget about it. It's just that you still don't have it right. And we're trying to correct you. There's a difference. You know, it's called vertical drop. You guys remember this from 2015. This is the quintessential tenet of your spinning ball religion. You got to have drop every point from a tangent from your feet drops, that is vertically, vertically drops away from you at eight inches per mile squared. Well, yes, it does. And one of the problems is, is we've shown you this repeatedly. Did you guys forget about this? I mean, come on. You see this tangent line? You see this drop, right? I can't believe you forgot about this. And the next one, the meaning of level and flat. Well, let me break it to you. Level equals flat. They're mutually inclusive. From Merriam-Webster. Level to make a line or surface horizontal. Make flat or level. Now he continues to go on for a few minutes about the various definitions of level. Now, he looked at the same page that I did, so you know that he saw this definition of level. Why is he not including this definition? I think the answer will be apparent in a little bit. I mean, why do I even have to provide citation for this? I don't know. I wish somebody would tell me. Well, let me see if I can help you out there, Quantum. It's because you are giving the definition for leveling the playing field instead of the actual definition of level in context to what we're doing now, which is perpendicular to the direction of gravity or perpendicular to a plumb line. That's why. So without further ado, on behalf of the Supreme Council and my highly esteemed and distinguished colleague who has been knighted, Sir Nathan Oakley, it is my honor and privilege to present the only model of the Earth that has seen the light of day over the past four years. Here it is. Brought to you by our flat earth friends over at Google Earth. 
You know, I think I figured it out. Uh, nobody can be this childish. I think that basically Quantum Eraser and Nathan Oakley are just making fun of people on the flat earth. Nobody can be this stupid. Nobody can be this undeservingly arrogant. So I think that this entire presentation by Nathan Oakley and Quantum Eraser is designed to mock people in flat earth thinking that one, they may buy it, and two, they may continue to send Nathan Oakley and his buddies money. Because this is just cheap entertainment. It's kind of like watching a barn fire. You know, let's just go ahead and continue and see where they're taking this because I think you're going to get a kick out of it. Hashtag same team. They seem to have hit it in in plain sight. So I didn't bring you here for us to gawk at this. Remember, we have two predictions to test. Right? One at 500 miles and one at 1,000 miles. So let's take the 500 mile measurement. We'll wing on over to the med and jam with Mick and the stones. What do we got here? Well, we have a 500 mile distance between the shore of Sicily and Libya. So let's take a look here. So everything's in plain sight. We're going to take an elevation of point D. And what do we got? We have four feet. So let's wing on over to Sicily. What do we have for an elevation in Sicily? Well, we have four feet. Okay, so basically what Quantum Eraser is saying that since the shore uh, in Libya is four feet above sea level, and the shore in Sicily is four feet above sea level, they are at the same elevation, so therefore it is flat between them. Now, seriously, these elevations are given above mean sea level, so they can't really believe this, can they? Can they? We'll get an elevation profile. So, from the shore of Sicily, for 500 miles, as you can see, we have a 0 0.00 vertical drop. In fact, it's 508 miles. Okay, so let me see if I can help out a little bit here. I have a sphere, and it's got some pins in it. You see those pins? Now, each of those pins is the same elevation above the surface of this sphere, okay? Now, if I were to graph them out, they would look like this. Now, what you see here is I've graphed the elevation in respect to the surface. And as you see, each pin is 3 eighths of an inch high. So I have three red lines. And if you just draw a line on that, they're all exactly the same height. Okay? Now, they're all the same distance from the surface, but have a look at that surface. It's curved, okay? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're revealing one of the uh, extra uh, technological advancements in this model there. Yes, Nathan. Google Earth is a sphere. It is a spherical representation because the Earth is a sphere, hence Google Earth is spherical. You see, Nathan, Google Earth is actually based upon the WGS 84 geode. That's where they get their elevation information, and it's above mean sea level. This has absolutely nothing to do with drop. If you want to look at drop, one of the things that you can do is look at a tangent line to the horizon. Here, let me give you an example. Well, one problem that I have with people in the flat earth is they rarely understand how to use the tools that they try to use to prove their flat earth. Nathan and Quantum Eraser are no exceptions to this rule. We have a line here of about 500 miles from the coast of North Africa to Sicily. When Nathan looked at this, 
he made a big point in showing the elevation gain or loss is zero feet. How could this possibly be if the Earth is truly spherical? The Earth must be flat because relative to sea level, there's no change in elevation from the coast of North Africa all the way to the coast of Sicily. Let's have a look at his line. So we're going to go right over here to this point of land, and we're going to look out at his line. Now there's a couple of things that you'll notice about this line. First of all, it's visible all the way from Sicily back to North Africa. There it is. The other thing that's quite apparent about it is it's curved. That's because the Earth's surface that it is going across is indeed curved, and the line is being drawn relative to sea level. It's clamped to the ground. So therefore, since the ground is curved, so too will be the line. Now, here's how you can know that. Let's have a look. So we're going to go ahead and have a look at this line. So, right there it says it's clamped to the ground. Now let's go ahead and change that a little bit. How about if we make an absolute line? An absolute line is one that is straight from the origin to the end point of the line. It doesn't follow the curve of the Earth. It goes from point A to point B in a straight line. And let's go ahead and have a look at that. There's North Africa. And there's the end at Sicily. Look at that. And you notice the middle of the line disappears. So let's go see if we can fix that. In order to make the middle of that line appear, we've got to raise the altitude a little bit. So here we go. Let's go to altitude. Start raising it. There it is. Now the line is continuous all the way from North Africa to Sicily. And once again, look how far that line is above the surface. Here we go a little more. Same thing over at that end. Now just so that you know we didn't change anything other than make that a straight line, let's go ahead and zoom it back out. And there you guys go. That's a straight line. May I make my small interjection here, save me doing the advanced feature coverage later. So sure. obviously along the bottom line, we have a perfectly flat reference to the elevations, which John is dragging across as we speak. He's showing it with his mouse. Just wave your mouse so people can see what I'm talking about, John. There we go. It's referencing a flat surface. Now, no, Nathan, it's referencing the surface not a flat surface, it's referencing the surface. One of the advanced services that's offered is that you can make a direct comparison between these two. So I don't know if you can just roll uh, your line so that it's at the top. There we go. Stop, that'll do. So you can see the comparison between the graphic, which is what the fundamentalist religious zealots believe they live on, versus the actual reference in the elevation profile at the bottom. Very useful tool to show what they think they have versus what's actually being measured and demonstrated and what it's referencing flat. Oh dear God, Nathan. You just demonstrated that Google Earth represents a curved surface. You just demonstrated that the elevation data is based on sea level, which curves. Yet you still insist for reasons or reasons unknown besides trying to stay with your narrative, that that surface is flat. You're looking at a sphere. You're looking at a spherical representation of our planet. Surely you can see this. If you can't see it, I'm hoping that the people watching this video can see it. It's the, still the sticking point for them is they want to redefine level as parallel to the surface of a ball. That's the only thing they can do. So Google Earth has been a flat Earth map all this time by its own measurements. And they said, but the line is curved. We put it, well, they put an arc in it, but they <laughs> they have the same elevation the whole time. You, you went along that, 
graph, you know, that showed elevation over the course of that line. It never changed, but it looks curvy. Therefore, it must be a ball earth. That That's how bad it is in the chat. Yes, I do have a few concerns. Specifically, I have concerns for the state of public education in the United States and the UK. Anybody else? Put a comment in, so tell me what you think. Have you ever seen a globe Earth model? No, anyway. they, re they renounced Google quite some time ago as their model. Okay, guys, they actually carry on for another hour and five minutes with this. People came into their chat to try and correct them, to tell them that these elevations were above mean sea level. And Nathan Oakley does nothing but point to that little box, the elevation profile, and say, look, the bottom of it's flat. I mean, how do you, how do you counter this? How do you counter this sub-elementary school level of comprehension? with an argument from logic or, or facts. You, you really can't. But these are the people that presume to tell us what an independent variable is and how to conduct scientific experiments. These are the people that call astronomy and seismology pseudoscience. Nathan Oakley and Quantum Eraser are the people the Flat Earth community look up to for scientific knowledge. Yet this is their level of comprehension. It's absolutely unbelievable. The only thing that I can think of is that this is some sort of a joke on the flat earth community that they're just trying to, they got together over lunch one day and said, let's see what kind of nonsense we can put out that they'll eat up. You know, they're all idiots. So this is them, Quantum Eraser and Nathan Oakley telling you that you're an idiot because they expect you to go along with this. If nothing else, this is a great example of why you need to stay in school and actually pay attention. All right? This is why you should go out and seek knowledge rather than seek dogma and listen to people give you narratives. Well, thank you very much for stopping by. Remember to, you know, just kind of go down there and hit that like and subscribe. Take care from Northern Michigan. This is Bob the Science Guy. We'll see you again real soon.